You know it makes sense. Vote what? Vote what? For goodness sake, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I was, uh, I was just practising. Do us a favour, I don't. I know. I should be out there doing it for real. I mean, the polls are open. Oh, yeah, good luck. Oh, I'm not going to need much of that, am I? Not with Audrey pulling out. The only thing I've got to worry about is that slimeball Desmond Worthing. You don't have to worry about him. You're going to win. You're always going to win anyway. Oh, thanks for being so sure. But if I do, I'm not sure if I want to win like that. Audrey's pulled out to look after Alma. I feel as though I'm taking advantage. Well, you're not. There. Thanks. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. It's been a long shift. Ready for my bed. Right. You'll make the count, though, won't you? Yeah, of course I will. I won't miss it for the world. I'll go on you. Go on your election. See ya. See ya. Hiya. Um, still for lunch, Sam? Yeah, you betcha. Don't let me down, Steve. How much money in the bank? Yeah, but I want, like, the works, you know, where uh, I'm done at, down on Bended Knee. I'm not flaming Romeo, you know. No, well, I don't want to give Janice and the others any room to wriggle out a coffee up, so if you're going to propose to me, then do it proper. Still 50-50? Yeah. All right, then I'll uh, give you the full de Velehem, baby, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's all that about, then? That just wants me to give her a ring later. Morning, Emily. Hello, Norman. Are you feeling confident? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm... To tell you the truth, I'm just a bit nervous. What on earth were you thinking of, David? You could have burnt my house down. Oh, what do you think this is for, hey? Use it next time. Oh, sorry, Dad, I thought we were being good. Being good? Is that your idea of being good? Burning the house down? Yeah, all right, Gail. He said he's sorry, never met any harm. It's hardly Guy Fawkes, is he? Now, go on. You go off to school. Is everything all right, Dev? <clears throat> yeah, fine. Everything's fine. Are you sure? You've been acting strange all morning. Yes, I'm sure. And how I choose to act is my business. Running this shop is my business as well. And remembering that, I think, is what I pay you for. I'm sorry. I was only concerned for you. Yeah, well, don't be. Have you spoken to Gina? You just don't know when to stop, do you? Where are you going? Out! Vote what for Weatherfield. He knows what's what. Vote what? What for Weatherfield? Hey, have you voted Vote yet, T? Because it'd be your first time, wouldn't it? No, I'm not gonna. Why not? I, mean, I know it's not as good as your first legal part in a Rovers, but it's important to put your axe in a box, isn't it? My mum used to say 99% of folk in this country were decent with proper jobs. The rest of them were politicians. Yeah, she's probably got a point, mate. Anyway, only votes I'm counting on is them judges in the Rovers on Saturday. Yeah. Hey, I reckon I could do a right good baby spice, mate. I'm not one of the Spice Girls. Why not? Well, you can, but you'll be on your own. Well, who are we going to go as, then? I don't know. Oh, hi. Right. What have you been up to? Close to back from Gilbert Crescent an hour ago. Yeah, sorry, I uh, had to pick something up on the way. All right, what? Oh, you won't be interested. Nah, you're probably right. I won't. Oh, nice one, Emily. All this vote catching has left me dry as a bone. Well, you stay here and keep up the good work, and I'll go and get us two teas. All right. Thank goodness I found you. Well, that shouldn't have been too difficult. What's the matter? Is Alma all right? Oh, yeah, well, no, it's not that, anyway. Um, I went to the town hall this morning to say that I was withdrawing from the election. Oh, yeah? Well, what did they say? They said I couldn't. What? Yeah, they said it was too late, with all the ballot slips having been printed and that. Well, didn't you explain, you know, about Alma and that? Oh, yes, it wouldn't make any difference. Listen, you'll soon find that out when you win. There is no time for a personal life in Weatherfield politics. But what do we do if you get elected? We just have to make sure that I don't, won't we? 
what's more important, make sure that that creepy crawly Desmond Worthing doesn't go in as well. How? Give me that kiss, Mother. A vote for Audrey Roberts is a wasted vote. Vote Norman Watts. Don't vote Roberts. Vote Watts. You heard him. He didn't mean it. Just one of those daft things lads do. He's getting out of control, Martin. Oh, come off it, Gail. What you're saying is turning into some kind of fire starter. No, of course not. Well, what then? Look, it's not him setting fire to the washing, it's the way he was after. He was breaking his heart for you. Oh, I see. And I'm not saying I regret anything. I'm not saying we were wrong to get divorced. Oh, it's a bit late for that one, you say. I'm trying to be constructive, Martin. He spends his time surrounded by women. Maybe he needs more of a man's influence. I see him all the time. Well, maybe he needs something more. What are you saying? I don't know. But we've got to work something out. And vote Watts. Not Roberts. Don't forget vote This Watts. is highly irregular. Just call it cross-party cooperation. Well, that's not unheard of, Norman. Apart from the notable exception of election day. There is. Have you voted yet? No, I haven't. And when I do so, it'll be for the candidate whose policies and integrity I most favour. So don't think you can browbeat me into voting for you, Councillor Roberts. No, that's fine. Now, and when you do, just remember to put your cross in Curly's box. There you go. Before you start, Audrey, me and T have officially declared this a politics-free zone. How do you mean? Well, it's like a smoking-free zone, only you can smoke as long as you don't talk about politics. Oh, Ty! I suppose this leaflet's part of some nasty campaign against your opposition, isn't it? Full of half-truths and downright lies. Well, that's not my idea of politics, Councillor Roberts, so rest assured I won't be voting for you. Oh, Norris, that is excellent. You are. How about you two? Uh, can I count on you to vote against me as well? Hurry up, Ash. An accident or something? You could say that. Hey, Matt might have done it. Done what? You know. Oh, right. Oh, well done, mate. Come on, hurry up, otherwise he'll drown. Brandy, please. A large one. You're still prepared to serve me. Good job, innit? I reckon you've been stood up, love. Mm, never mind, Karen. Maybe it's for the best, eh? Do right. This way we win the bet. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, is um, Steve with you? Uh, no, I uh, don't know where he is. He got off about an hour ago, it seems, since. £2.86. Mm -hmm. You know, there's really no need for this. How do you mean? Look, I know I've upset you, but do you really have to bring down these metal shutters? Meaning what, exactly? You, you want us to still be friends, do you? Yeah. <sighs> Grow up, Dev. Yes, Vic. Um. Oh, I never... Flaming egg. Yeah, Vic. <sighs> Karen, we haven't known each other long, but long enough. So will you marry me? I don't believe it. <gasps> yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that, Steve. It's a joke, right? What do you mean? <laughs> We're Karen. You can't be serious. Remember what she did to me? Yeah, made a play for me. What's your point? <laughs> well, the point is, it's only a matter of time before she does the same thing to you. <sighs> so you can't marry her. You'd be mad too. Oh, Vic, I didn't know you cared, mate. So come on, then. How'd you get him to do it? Propose. Not to it. Oh, come off it. Steve MacDonald is not the marrying type. And the only proposals he's likely to make are indecent. It's all like Bobby says. How did you do it? Didn't do anything. You see, when you're irresistible, Janice, you don't have to. Oh, yeah. Do nothing except drag him around the room by his trousers, you mean? Um, anyway, cough up, you lot. All this Betfair and Square, so 
Where's my cash? Yeah, well, I suppose. You'll have to wait till Baldwin dishes out pay packets this afternoon. Is that all right? No problem. I reckon I've got an idea. Go on, then. What about a holiday? What, you take the kids away? No, just David. Won't make you very popular with Sarah. No, well, it's not about Sarah, is it? But her father-son bonding. Yeah, you could say that. Nah, no, maybe it's a lousy idea. No, I think, I think you're right. You go and do what blokes do, and me, Sarah and Bethany will have a girls' week doing what we want. Sounds great. I'm not always using the park place, Gina. But I can have it. <laughs> Why have you been up to? Oh, just a bit of DIY. <laughs> I don't know about this, Sam. Politics ain't my thing. Well, it's safe for everyone, but you've got to vote, haven't you, mate? Who for? Anyone you want. Well, who are you voting for, and I'll vote for the same. But it, it don't really work like that, T. I mean, you've got to look at what a candidate's got to say, and then you've got to make your mind up from there. Quite study in form for a race? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Desmond Worthing. My name's Dobbs. Tyrone Dobbs. Well, I hope we can count on your vote, Tyrone. Well, I don't know yet. I'm going to wait until I'm in there. Well, if it's last-minute inspiration you're looking for. Well, Sam here reckons it's like picking a horse in the free fur. So we're going to do the same. Close my eyes and stick a pin in. <laughs> Excuse me. Mrs Roberts, I want a word, if you don't mind. Of course, Desmond, what is it? Are these rumours true? You've spent all morning campaigning for Mr Watts. Well, I'm afraid so, though I don't begin to understand it. But this is an outrage. Oh, now, calm down, Tessie. I think you're just upset because I'm not campaigning for you. No. You're making a complete mockery of the entire election process. I think you'll find that Council Roberts is exercising her right to free speech. Miss Roberts, I insist on a full explanation of your actions. Well, actually, I'd quite like to know what's going on as well. You see? The people have a right to know. No, the people have a right to know who to vote for. And that's me. Well, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, we'll see, won't we? Oh, you're back then. In a bit better mood, I hope. Yeah. I'm back, and I'm sorry about earlier. There's no need for me to snap. It's not your fault. Oh, listen, Dev. Tell me to mind my own business again, if you like, but when I needed someone to talk to, you were there for me. All I'm trying to do is repay the favour. You'll let me. Thank you, Deirdre, but I reckon I know what you're going to say, OK? I'm being stupid, right? And are you? No. No, I don't think I am, no. Well, what you are doing is beating yourself black and blue. That doesn't seem very clever, does it? Look, Gina wants more than I can give her. Yeah, at least more than I can give her right now. Are you saying you don't love her? I don't know. You must know. I don't know. Well, if you did, you'd know. Really? Yeah, so how do you feel about Ken? Well, everyone's different. How do you feel about Gina? I can't get her out of my head. Every thought that I have seems to swing around her. <laughs> it's driving me dizzy. Sounds like love to me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This isn't about love. This is about me. Go on. Look, family is important to me, did you? I mean, you know that. And one day I want to find a wife and have kids, you know, and lots of kids. Why not? And maybe Gina's the one. I don't know. But I've still got my ambitions. Are you saying you're, you're not ready for commitment? I'm still a risk taker, Deirdre. I'm a gambler. I've got money in the bank, but it's just chips on the next spin of the wheel, the next big deal. And I don't want my family living in a house of cards. I want my wife and my kids to have stability, and I am just not there yet. Exactly. You're not ready for commitment. No. But Gina is. Here we are, girls. Chat. Oh, great payday. And uh, I'd say I was in for a bit of a bonus. Don't milk it, Karen. Oh, hang on a minute. You lot bet me, remember? This waiting my idea. Yeah. 
But there was talk of a honeymoon behind that bet. Mm. Are you welching? No. Make your holiday into a honeymoon. And until you're actually married, it's just all talk, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Double or quits? Again? That's two days' wages. Yeah, but... What if I got Steve to marry me by this time next week? You are joking. No, I'm not. What do you say, Janice? Wedding ring on my finger this time next week. <coughs> or, um, you lot don't have a pen. Hey, what's this, Norris? Girly mugs? I, I, I was merely tidying the shelves, and, and anyway, we don't stock that kind of literature. This is an emporium of repute. Give us a look. Look, he's even folded the collar over. What's that? Mariella's makeup tips. Something you're not telling us, eh, Norris? No. Eh? Oh, very funny. If you must know, it was it was just a bit of research. <laughs> research? Well, for Saturday night. If I'm going to be dressed as a woman, as always, I want to look well turned out. Hey, who are you coming as anyway, Norris? Hey, you'd look great as Madonna with one of those bras and that. Actually, I was thinking of somebody with a bit more class. Oh, I've got it, tease. It's Julie Andrews. Oh, well, <laughs> you'll just have to wait and see. Well, it makes no difference. You won't beat the lads from the garage. Oh, I can see that now. Biker spice, spanner spice, stripper spice and little oily spice. <laughs> Not going as the Spice Girls. We'll beat you on Saturday. You wait and see. Right. Hey, who are we going as, anyway? I don't know. Hi, uh, come in. Hiya. Hi, Martin. Hiya. I'm going up to my room. All right, David, no need to rush off. Why? Haven't you come round to give me enough telling off about setting fire at washing? No, I haven't. Yeah, well, you ought to. The least thing you could do is make him buy me a new pair of jeans. Yeah, OK, Sarah, we'll sort your jeans out. Um, actually, I've come to see if you fancy going away for half term. One of these activity villages. Oh, that beauty! Oh, it's not going to be like a camp, is it? I don't fancy that. Well, actually, you're staying here with me. Yeah, it's just me and David. Brilliant! Oh, that's great. He destroys my wardrobe and gets a free holiday. Yeah, well, while you're away, I might burn your football kit. No, you won't. Yeah, and give me one good reason, cos I'm taking it with me. <laughs> They'll be closing the polls soon. I just hope I've put off enough people voting for me. So, I have quite a good council record, so I think I'd be a popular choice, you know? I know, Audrey. And listen, thanks for all your help. Um, Ella, what are you doing here? Well, I've still got a vote, haven't I? Yeah, of course you have. <laughs> just make sure you put your cross in the right box. I don't <laughs> want that chinless wonder worth in winning. <laughs> hey, it's coming. Oh. This is the returning officer, Mr Tyler. I've told him how you've reduced the election day to a farce. Oh, Desmond. Mr Tyler, all I did was try to ensure that I didn't get re-elected. <laughs> yes, Audrey, but why? Well, Emily, because I was really never any good at it. I mean, it was just an excuse to buy a nice hat and a posh frock. I mean, Curly really cares. Well, that's a remarkably frank declaration for a politician. <laughs> and Mr Worthing. Bizarre though their actions may be, there is no reason why one candidate cannot campaign for another. But the whole election will be a joke. Oh, of course it won't, Desmond. As long as you don't get in. Hey, Ash, can I get you one? Yeah, all right. Hey, I reckon you deserve it after your Andy work this morning. Hey, why the long face? It's a waiting now, isn't it? Oh, it won't be long. Just a couple of days. Yeah, but... but what if there is something wrong with me? What if you am firing blanks? What's that going to do to Maxine? And what's it going to do to me? Hey, there's no point in worrying about it. Wait for the test to come through and we'll take it from there, eh? Right, so come on, then. What's going on with Steve and Karen? What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, he's proposed to her. His brain gauge must be on empty. <laughs> All right, listen, but don't say anything. Karen's on a bet. <sighs> no one was afraid that you weren't coming. What? Oh, Mrs. Big Moment, how's it going? Oh, very strange, 
I now have the results in for the Weatherfield Ward, so... Robert Audrey, Independent Business Alliance, 1,852 votes. <laughs> Salloway, George Albert, the Weatherfield Campaign for Authentic Curries Party, five votes. Watkins, Alan Clive, the party of the opening of the third eye, 25 votes. Watts, Norman Arthur, independent, 1,915 votes. <laughs> Worthing, Desmond, the independent ratepayers party, 1,650 votes. I duly declare that Norman Arthur Watts is elected as councillor for Weatherfield Ward. You're going to buy me a pint then to celebrate my engagement? No. I told you you were off your head and I was right. You know that Karen on you got you to propose for a bet? No. Bobby told me. You knew, didn't you? Of course I knew you don't. You don't think I'd get down and do all the hearts and flowers things for nothing, do you? You're off your trolley. Then. Mm, not exactly, but I just fancy making twice as much. Go on. Okay, at the time it was just a bit of laughing, just... What was? <laughs> well, I've gone double or quits. Well, go on then, what do we have to do? You're gonna kill me. Mama? What have you said? That you'll marry me. What? By this time next week. Right, then why not? Are you joking? No. Let's do it. Let's get married. <laughs> 